We are in my kitchen and I need to get some meal prep done. So I've got my list. I have a couple things I wanna make for breakfast, for lunch, and then I don't even know how long it's been, but I have not made those Rolo cookies yet. <laughs> so um, that is on my list today as well. We're gonna start off with some lunch because it is actually a weekday when I am filming this and I did not make this in time for Mark to take to work. So he's gonna run home at lunch today. Um, so I definitely need to make sure I've got some lunch options done that he can pick from and then we'll get into some breakfast things and those cookies. So let me take you guys down to my counter. I'll show you guys what I've got in mind, what we're gonna be eating on the next few days and share a few meal prep ideas with you. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some chicken salad. I feel like Mark and I have had this the past three weeks, maybe even longer, I don't know, but we are really loving this chicken salad. So I will link it. Um, I did find it, well, Nicole shared it, but um, it is Jess Glenn 21 on Instagram. So I'll link this little um, Instagram video that she has or short, but it is so good. It makes four servings. Here's all the ingredients that we're gonna be using, some light mayo, two cans of chicken breast, some green onions, an apple, cranberries or craisins, some just plain Greek yogurt, and some grapes. Oh, and then I'm gonna grab a little salt and pepper as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my stuff cut up into my bowl. I do need to, she doesn't have measurements written on here. She just says four servings, so I have to measure how much or weigh out how much um, all of it ends up being, and that way I can divide it by four and I know how much a serving is. So I just start with my bowl on here, and as I'm filling it in, it'll add it all up for me to total at the end. But let's go ahead and get this made because this is definitely, Mark and I have really been enjoying this chicken salad, it's so good. Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes, they glowed and filled me Me off the battleground. 
Okay, a chicken salad is made. I've done my calculations. So I'm going to make four different lunch boxes. Um, I've already got it into my macros that I'm having carrots with mine and some protein chips. I don't know what Mark wants to have with his. So I'm not, I'm only gonna put carrots in two of these, but I am gonna go ahead and separate the chicken salad. And that way, once I kind of know what he wants to have with his, then I can fill his lunches the rest of the way up. So I am doing 223-ish grams, and that is one serving. And this should make four servings, a little over, but that's fine. So that's one, and I'm gonna make three more. Totally forgot to share before I put them in the fridge, <laughs> but I did make four serving sizes in different containers for my, Mark and I. Again, um, I'm having carrots with mine. I'm not quite sure what he wants, so I left his other little part blank or empty so he can fill that in when he wants. But next, oh, my camera is a little blurry there. I had to mess around with this. I feel like it gets blurry in every video now. Um, next up, I was gonna make the second lunch, but I just wanna make sure we have a lunch and a breakfast for tomorrow, just in case <laughs> I don't get to everything today, which has been the case here lately. Um, there's not enough time in the day, you guys. Uh, so I am gonna go ahead and make some overnight oats. I am gonna be making two different kinds. The first one is Nicole's Raspberry Wedding Cake Overnight Oats. This is, she has this on Instagram, so I will link this little clip so you guys can see the ingredients, the macros, all of that. But I've got everything out here. I like to use these ball jars. I just think they're super cute. Um, I did, actually, where did I find these? I can't remember if I actually ordered these on Amazon or if I got them in a store, but I, don't know if they're available on Amazon anymore, but I'll try to link them just in case you want. They're, it's just the perfect size for you to be able to shake everything and mix everything up in here. So as far as ingredients, I've got some white chocolate chips here, raspberries, almond extract, some cake pop flavored protein powder. The only thing that I'm changing up is her recipe calls for raspberry Greek yogurt and I could not find just plain raspberry anywhere. So I ended up getting this mixed berry Oikos triple zero. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Some old fashioned oats, chia seeds, almond milk back here, and then some monk fruit sweetener. So let me go ahead and start making these. I am gonna only make two of these. So Mark and I will have these for one breakfast and then I'm gonna make another kind of overnight oats and that'll be another breakfast. raspberry overnight oats are prepped. Next, I'm gonna be making some blueberry cheesecake overnight oats. Another recipe Nicole has on her Instagram. She may have these on YouTube also. I'm just gonna link the Instagram ones though because it takes you right to it. Um, that way you guys can see, again, the ingredients, the macros, all the things. But we, so the raspberry one I have not tried. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. The blueberry one is my favorite out of, I think we've had four different kinds of overnight oats so far, and this blueberry one is my favorite. Like, I love it so much. I could eat it every day for breakfast. Um, so for that, I've got some frozen blueberries, some cheesecake jello pudding mix, the Oikos, I think it just called, let me look, 
oh yeah, this exact kind, the Oikos Triple Zero Yogurt, um, vanilla yogurt. And then we've got pure almond extract, monk fruit sweetener, almond milk, chia seeds, uh, the same cake pop flavor, protein powder. I mean, you can really use whatever protein powder you want. This just helps with like the cheesecake flavor. And then of course, old fashioned oats. So let me go ahead and make two of these. Okay, I've got two of the raspberry and two of the blueberry prepped. I'm gonna get them in my fridge and we can have these over the next couple days. Okay, it is a little bit later. I did pause for lunch, got sucked into an episode of Gilmore Girls. So we are back in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to, well, we're actually trying out a new egg salad recipe. So I will leave it linked down below. I found it on Pinterest. So I'll have that in the description box, but I am using my Instant Pot. Love using this for eggs, and I am putting in a total of 16 eggs. I am doubling, I think I'm doubling the recipe. I, I feel like it calls for eight and I'm doing 16. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get 16 eggs in my Instant Pot. I do have a trivet down below, so the eggs aren't just sitting on the bottom. All right, also pouring in a cup of water. Make sure it is sealing. I guess it would help if I plugged it in also. All right, and then I'm just doing manual and I'm cooking it on high pressure for four minutes. My four minute timer just went out on my Instant Pot or just went off but I'm gonna let it sit in there for another four minutes before I release the pressure and then get it, get them into an ice bath. But I was wrong, I'm not doubling it. 16 eggs is for one serving, well not for one serving. It serves six, but it's what this recipe makes. So six servings, um, but it's stayfitmom.com. Again, I'll have it linked down in the description box, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on mixing everything else up while the eggs are finishing up. So I've got some cottage cheese, green onions, mustard, salt and pepper, and then dried dill, celery salt, and paprika, and that's everything. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this mixed up, and then once the eggs are done, I'll add those in as well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, I like when recipes allow you to double or triple it when you want. I had already clicked double it. So one, go, one amount of this, one recipe or whatever makes or serves three. And I knew I wanted at least three days, like two to three days for Mark and I to have this. Um, so I doubled the recipe. So it makes six servings. So Mark and I will have it three days this week. So anyway, I, I was right the first time. Eight eggs is one serving or one, you know, go around. Um, but 16 eggs if you want to double the recipe. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and work on getting all of this together. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. I'm thinking about 
about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you. Such a constellation wreck. No, you d o g r e e Here are the six servings of egg salad. So that's three lunches for Mark and three lunches for myself. It is the next day, and I have talked myself out of doing the last two items on my meal prep list. So I was going to make a breakfast casserole, but it has to sit in the fridge overnight. And we are actually not going to be, it's not on plan until Saturday. So I don't need to make it until Friday, which is when this video is going up. So I'm not gonna make that, but I will share like the before picture of what it looks like before I put it in the oven, like all prepped. And then after on Instagram, I've been trying to upload my food daily over there because I get a lot of requests on what I'm eating, my calories, all of that. So I've been sharing more of that. As I remember, I've been pretty good about it. Um, and then I've talked myself out of those Rolo cookies again because it was just Easter. The kids have a lot of candy and I'm like, eh, I, I can easily talk myself out of baking stuff for them when they have stuff that they, they need to finish up. So I'll probably push that off. Maybe I'll make them this weekend. Again, anything that I do make, I tend to share over on Instagram, but both of those recipes are from Elise Ellis, which she's on Instagram. She also has a website or a blog, Macro Friendly Foods. So if you guys wanna see the recipes and all of that, definitely go check her site out, her Instagram. But that is it for meal prep in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.